presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Uh, yeah. Welcome, folks. Um, March 20th, yeah. So, you know, if you just listen to that uh, program, folks, that was Dave's last program, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go through, uh, you know, when I met him, uh, what he's meant to all of us. Uh, we, we, we're going to put a full show together. Uh, first off, I want to thank all the listeners. I want to thank all the hosts. Uh, we've got a huge amount of emails. Um, you know, it, what happened, folks, is that unfortunately Dave passed away on St. Patrick's Day. Um, you know, but I, right, what this is going to be about right now is celebrating his life. Celebrating, you know, I met Dave. Dave came up to my um, office, and this is when, when I first got to Florida. This is the thing is wild is that, you know, you hear that ad over 20 years ago, but I was just doing the numbers. And actually, Dave came up to my office like 23 years ago, and we were on West Bay, and he had said to me, he, had, he was a listener, and he had just finished uh, a software, he worked for a software company, he just finished a software company, he says, he, he says, I think I can do something for you. I says, oh yeah, what can you do for me? He says, well, you do this volume deal, and you know, I'd like to you know, work with you. I said, this is great, man, do you know what I mean? So I came in, that's how, that's how it started. Um, so he's been with, TFNN for a long time. He's had a show, I think, for 15 years, but behind the scenes, he's been there for the whole, well, for 23 years. Um, great guy, uh, liked to sail. He sailed a lot when we first met him. Uh, had a couple schnauzers, uh, loved his dogs, um, you know, and it, what happened, unfortunately, this, this is the thing that, you know, you know, you know, I've had the saying, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here, what are you doing right now? Well, it's, it's important that we all understand that right now. And when I say right now, I really, I, to understand, if you get an answer from someone and you don't like that answer, you know, fight for that answer. Because I suspect Dave fought for this answer. Because when I talked to his niece, what ended up happening is that um, he never misses uh, a news, he doesn't miss anything. You know what I mean? If he's going to take off, we know it like three weeks ahead of time. Uh, so what ended up happening is that he didn't have his newsletter on the 15th. No, on the 15th? The 16th. Uh, it was last Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, rather. And as soon as that happened, Tommy knew that thought there was something wrong. He sent the cops to his house. The cops, you know, there was a note in the door that said... Uh, you know, I'm walking to your dogs, Dave. And the cop says, well, listen, everything looks all right. Uh, then that just didn't seem right either. So then Tommy sent Jacob to his house. And we left a note at his house. Um, bottom line, we get a call later that, yeah, he had a massive heart attack. Well, no, we get a call later that he, he just passed away. I talked to his niece over the weekend. And this, this is the real thing that is insane, folks, okay? So what happened is that Dave finished that show, the show you just watched. He finished the show. He went to the hospital because he wasn't feeling good, and he felt that it was as hot, the niece told me, because all the way down his arm was all getting numb. Bottom line, they sent him home. As they sent him home, he unfortunately collapsed right when he's in his doorstep. You know, so... There's something wrong with that whole deal, but I got that off off his knees. They're they're dealing with it, and it's not a not a cool deal. Um, but you know, as you just heard that show, uh, 
you know, he had a lot of great things going for him in a big way. Um, and listen, we're, you know, life is precious. Um, and, you know, it's like, wow. You know, it was great hearing his voice. I, I loved hearing his voice, you know. Um, and you got to cherish all of that, the, the, you know, because the bottom line is, is that uh, life is fleeting, man. You know, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, we're always going to cherish our man, Mr. Dave White. Uh, you know, Tommy and I, we're going we're gonna, to, we're gonna, all of us, we're going to get a nice remembrance together from, from the listeners, from clips. And, you know, we'll have that out in the next uh, month, you know, month. No, I mean, the next couple of weeks. Okay. So, yeah. Just like that. That's the thing that's crazy. You know, so the, the other side of that too, and if you, if you, you know, I, I've been close enough to my, my, my supervisor of uh, the construction company had a similar deal. And what happens if you do have heart problems, folks, what happens is that you gotta go, go to the doctor and because the, it seems that if you make it through the first one, you're okay. You know, because there's so many things they can do now. But the, the, the deal is when you don't make it through the first one, that's the problem, okay? So, Dave, I'm sure you're up there and uh, getting us some option advice. So we'll see, see where these dailies and weeklies options uh, go and, you know, we miss you, man. Market-wise out here, folks, uh, Dow's up. 285, NASDAQ's up 14, S&Ps are up 25, gold, gold contracts up 1280, that's trading at 2003, you get silver up 21 cents, 2265, light sweet crude up 64 cents, 67.38, uh, notes and bonds, the 10 year note uh, down 24 ticks, trading 115, the 30 year down a point and a half, trading out at uh, 131.13, and then king dollar, king dollar right now, so that's trading down 378 ticks at 103,331. I'm sure you heard over the weekend, you got the UBS uh, is basically taking out Credit Suisse, and then you know you have these uh, AT1 bonds. Now these AT1 bonds that you're hearing about, folks, okay? Like PIMCO lost uh, 870 million on it, Invesco lost 370 million, BlackRock lost 113 million. What they're called, they're called hand grenade bonds. You know, I mean, when I started this business, I was, it was the bonds that got me going. These were hand grenade bonds. And what hand grenade bonds, that they knew that they could blow up and blow up in a monster way. And bottom line, they blew up. And the bonds, these bonds came into being after the um, fiasco in 2007, 2008. We don't have them in the United States. They, they, they did this a different way in Europe. But they were basically, if your TL1 went under TL1, these bonds came into play and they literally were called hand grenade bonds in the business, okay? So, you know, they get a trillion dollar loss. Well, that's their problem, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, risk is very important. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up right now, up 292. NASDAQ is up 16. S&P is up 26. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 280. You got the NASDAQ up 13. S&P's up 25. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, a Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get to these newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, when you get Steve's newsletter, folks, you are going to get a huge amount of information because, of course, he has many things out there between the TD count, his oscillator on change line, uh, just a great amount of information that um, bottom line that you can take advantage of. And when I say take advantage of, well, you actually can take advantage of because you can go out there and get it for 29 days. And, you know, if, if it doesn't work for you, you don't have to pay for it. You know, bottom line, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out. Steve Rhodes, how you doing, man? Hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. Such, such, Jesus. I mean, excuse me, but it's like, man, weird. You know what I mean? Just No, totally. And look, Tom, yeah. uh, you know, each of us here um, owe you a debt of gratitude. Yeah, uh, you know, with with uh, had you not met David, as you talked about 23 years ago, um, he would not have been such a key part of our life. So, right. You know, very grateful. That's so um, fast. To had, I can't even oh. believe it. You know, when I heard the ad before I was coming on, I says, hold it. It's more than that, because I remember I remember it, folks, by the office we were in. And I've been yeah. out of that office that long. That's yeah, that's how I remember it. So. Yeah, great guy. And and now, and you know, you've created this um, amazing family with inside the TFNN community. So I think there's a lot of family members kind of pissed off um, knowing that he took himself to the hospital. Yeah, that's and, and right. We, yeah. And we're finding out, folks, this is what's going on. See, his family is spread across the country. Well, he, unfortunately, his mother and father has died. His brother and sisters have died. He only has nieces. Right. And they're spread out there in Atlanta and Chicago. And. You know, uh, uh, I'm trying to find out the hospital. Attack, I, I think I know the hospital. We have one hospital around here that it's, I mean, it's disgusting. I mean, they've had problems forever. And, you know, anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, well, you know, I think his brother passed away from a heart attack, if I'm not mistaken. He did. He did. Yeah, 
And yeah, so, I was talking you know, to the brother's daughter. That's who I was talking to. Right. Okay, perfect. Right. So now you've got this guy, you got David going to the hospital. Right. Hey, it's in my family. My brother, you know, a few years old or what have you, you know, passed away from it. I, I, it's unthinkable. Yeah. That, that it's, un, it's just, uh, right. unless there's something that we don't know, you know, it, it certainly is unthinkable. So, yeah, it was great. Uh, thanks for replaying that. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, I, I, it was. I thought it was great hearing his voice. I mean, that's totally. you know. I mean, there's no doubt. Do you know what I mean? It's like, and, and then yeah. it was great that Steve from Austin called, man. Yeah, <laughs> because if you know Dave, folks, I mean, you know, Dave is Dave, man, and that was right, right up his alley. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you know, I, I consider him to be the gold standard yeah. uh, for his uh, teachings. I think that his teachings for many of us will just simply uh, live forever, and that's a beautiful thing. And so you know, again, Tom, uh, you know, so grateful that uh, you took the actions that you did and he became a part of this uh, this family, uh, this Hotel California, and yeah. we're gonna miss him dearly. Miss we him dearly. all will, there's no doubt. Yeah, no yeah. Doubt. So I thought I'd maybe just go ahead and stick with gold here. Okay. Uh, since yep. we're talking about a gold standard of an individual. And uh, uh, folks, this, this chart here is taking a look at gold priced in dollars, which is on the left-hand side, euros next to it, then yen, and uh, gold priced in pounds. And those folks that have uh, seen me talk about these charts here, where I took a look at different instruments priced in different currencies, real rallies are where the price is moving up in all major currencies. And what I found, Tom, in going back and taking a look at uh, gold is that when it tops out, it will typically top out in all major currencies at or very near the exact same time. The purple line that is on these charts here, they represent the month that gold made its high in U.S. dollars. So if that's true, in that gold will form a high at the same time, well, we can see based upon how gold is traded in euros and yen and pounds, which have taken out those time periods, gold in terms of U.S. dollars has not made a major top. And we're likely to head to new higher highs out there. Oh, I don't see likely. I believe that we will. If you take a look at gold priced in yen and pounds, they've already made new all-time highs this month. Yes. And, and euros just missed it by, you know, just by a smidgen out there. The gold contract happens to be, at least it was when I put this together maybe about an hour ago, it was trading above its February 2nd swing point, And it was doing it with volume. And that sets up a potential A to B equals CD to the upside out here. Now, I say potential simply because gold is trading into a, a swing point from uh, from March uh, uh, March that, that began March 7th through March 11th. And if we switch over here, so I've done, Thomas, I'm going from the gold contract just to maybe make it easier for the audience. Nearly everybody has got access to the GLD. Yes. Not everybody has. Yeah, the, no, that's uh, a great way of doing it, Steve. Right. So just to, just to, so we can see what's going on in gold. And now here's the GLD. So everybody can do this. In the case of the GLD on the left hand side, we've got the daily time frame. We can see that it took out its swing point at 181.73. The bottom line shows the 7.9 million shares was a swing point volume. You take a look at how we took that out it was with massive volume and this gives us an a to b equal cd to the upside with a one-to-one -one price projection of 199 but thomas you've taught us uh gold is not likely to do just a one-to-one -one. it'll expand itself and plus the retracement here was only 43 percent and the move along the c to d line it's on the left hand side all of this is on the strong side suggesting to move up beyond 199 207 be the one to 1.272 when I take this to the weekly time frame, um, here's where we can see that we're running into some issues. The swing point that it's trading into has got big volume, 135 million shares out there. Right. So, you know, so so that's the issue that we're going to be dealing with. And we could see some uh, choppy trading. On the monthly chart, everything looks great. It's above uh, the top of its uh, profile, which is resistance, folks. And so suggests that it really wants to move higher. So, again, to summarize this chart, 199.35 is the one-to-one -one confirmed A to B equals CD to the the upside on the daily time frame and so I'm suggesting because we're moving into this volume period just for folks to fasten their seat belts out there and so but even on a weekly basis we also have that the cool thing here is we've got a confirmed A to B equals CD upside on the weekly basis as well so I just think we've got some some issues, some volume issues uh, to deal with. I don't see any real topping signals other than, and so in honor of, of certainly David and Bud Rolfs uh, is the reason that I put this chart up here. Nice. And here are Bud's horizontal trading ranges or 
primary trading range boundary lines. I've got both uh, daily, which are in blue, and the green ones are the weekly time periods out here. So there's resistance. This is for the GLD now at 186.18, 188.64, and 199.35. If I take a look at the, if I step out instead of looking at a weekly chart, this was a weekly chart, Tom. Here's a daily time frame, and it just have just the daily horizontal trading ranges. Turns out that at 186.18, which is the next horizontal trading range, ties into this 186th level where we should run into some resistance. So I want folks to watch 186.18. If we get above that, that should help us to, again, get off to that 199 level. So, you know, in summary, uh, all these other things, all this stuff doesn't matter. Um, you know, we are going to miss our good friend, David White. Yeah, and um, thank you so much, Steve, for all your work uh, and then putting that together because there's no doubt, folks, what happens inside the gold market uh, it's always very tough, and it's not going to be easy, even though the, the, the crisis is out there. And our man Dave, our man Dave is sitting right up here with us, babes. Right here. He is. He there is. we go. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, Steve. Have a safe one. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 327. NASDAQ's up 21. S&Ps are up 30. Let's go to our man, Frank Agloster. Hey, Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Hey, first, my condolences. Uh, yeah, thank you. It's always it's always a ton of bricks when somebody close to you, uh, something like that happens. And, but uh, A good way so of saying easy. it, a he, ton of bricks. It was so easy to listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, you know? we were all listening to it, you know, upstairs. And, of course, what ends up happening, folks, is that every day, I mean, I listen every show every day, but... Uh, 
But in this particular case, we're all listening to it very closely. You know what I mean? So it was, yeah, there's no yeah. doubt. There's yeah. no doubt. Well, hey, the rest of you guys take care down there. Watch out for those. Watch out for those hospitals that don't work. That, oh, listen, that man, way. I can tell you a couple stories about that hospital, but it's not worth yeah. it until I really find out. But, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, and, it, you know, all our choices are very important, folks. That's the bottom line. That's, you know, yeah. if you could learn anything. Because what I can't f still figure out is that he was so meticulous, man. I'd love to know what, you know, well, well we're going to get to the bottom of it. I'm going to find out exactly what happened. Yeah. 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 So what are we going to look at, Frank? Well, O-R, or as they say in Boston, O-R. Uh, it's uh, a Cisco Gold Royalty. Oh, yeah. I figured with... Uh, you know, with Royal Gold doing so well from time to time, not much lately, there's got to be somebody else in the royalty business. And uh, this IPO back in 2014, the monthly chart is a trip because it keeps bouncing ping pong and ball back and forth between about 6 and 12 or 14. Okay. And uh, recently broke the swing high with more volume, and uh, I'd like you to take a look at it. Let's take a look. So you got... Um... <clears throat> The low for the year is nine dollars. The high is fifteen. This this is a streamer. Uh, you can see that you know they only have twenty eight employees. But what ends up happening is that they are taking in right now fifty eight million a quarter. Um, you yeah. know, bottom line. So it looks like most of their uh, gold is coming out of South America. And yeah, two hundred seventeen million of that. And so it's a streamer. And what happens with a streamer, folks? The way a streamer goes is this: is that they are getting, it's like they operate as a bank, they are getting a gross percentage of what comes out of the ground, and they sell. Now, the reason that that's so cool is that it has nothing to do with their expense ratio, and this is what ends up happening. I've read plenty of these. When, when, if, you, if you see one of these streamers, they do a deal with another company. If you actually go through and read the whole prospectus, it's worth it, because what, tends, what does happen is that as the price of gold goes up, the stream actually has kickers in it that the stream goes up also. Now, I'm not talking about the same level. Let's say that you're getting a stream of 2.5% on gold, right? Well, some yeah. of these, that's at the price of gold of 1,500. Well, it goes to 1,750, well, all the, then they're getting 3%. It goes to 2,300, they're getting 3.5%. They're all set up differently, but most of them are like that. It's not that it goes down, it doesn't stay steady. Yeah. There are different levels that the streamer itself is getting uh, a kick up. And, you know, that's a huge deal because when you get a kick up like that, you're talking about a kick up on hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, so, yeah, if, wow. yeah it's, it's, it's a great business plan. There's no doubt. So if we take is, a look is at Royal this. Yeah. Gold, is, is, is Royal Gold set up that way, too? Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's a, it's Royal Gold, actually, that I found this out about um, when I start reading them all, as is Franco Nevada. And some of these kickups are huge. Yeah. And what, what, what yeah. ends up happening is, though, if you wonder sometimes why a streamer will go up so much more dramatically than some of the other gold or silver stocks, that's one of the reasons. Another reason that you're going to see um, when gold and silver starts moving like this is that there's a ratio that the amount of ore that they take out of the ground and the cost of that ore, once it gets over a certain cost, then, you know, if you're wondering sometimes, uh, how, why does this stock go up so much? It's because of the fact, folks, that everything goes to the bottom line then. So you can have a stock that's lagging, then all of a sudden the gold kicks in, or the silver kicks in, and the stock goes bananas. Um, that's yeah. when that mine becomes so successful that that's what, you, that's what you're seeing. Yeah, this is strong, Frank. This is, this is strong. This is, if you, yeah. I, I, my, my take right now is that they're all gonna break eyes. You yeah. know? And, but as just as Steve Rhodes said, we've been doing this long enough, right? They're not gonna make this easy. That's the bottom line. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, you can kind of just look around and say, okay, man, um, <laughs> you know, when you do the numbers, yeah, so, so this is coming, we'll stay with this for a second, Frank, and then we'll get into the, the bigger picture. That this is coming into that last swing point of uh, the 1512, 
you're at 1480, 1512 on, on a monthly with 15 million. Well, it's already done 17 million. So that's telling me it's going to, yeah. you know, basically break top side. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so yeah, I mean, that, that's something you could get your head wrapped around. You know, because I, I suspect what we're going to see is this, folks, okay, is that since I've been in the business going all the way back to like kind of 1980, right? It's, it's the, the, it's about every 14 years that you have a blow up and they got to put more money into it. You have a blow up, they got to put more money into it. So what, it, what, it, what happens is that because we're dealing with larger numbers every single time, gold and silver, okay, they, you know, they don't go exactly on these larger numbers, but when they go, they go and they take everything at the same time, meaning they accelerate very quickly. And I think that's where we're at right now. And the reason, this is the reason, this is my reason on it. Because, see, the last time that we were up here, right, and Steve was bringing this up, that it didn't, gold couldn't make it. And there were plenty of folks that, you know, would, we're in that market thinking that, okay, no, 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 we're going to go this time, okay? My take at that particular point, because we went up so high so fast, it's saying, uh, I just don't see it, right? So what ended up happening, you know, we had, we had gold going from the 1600 all the way up to the 19. And then you had the retracement. What I loved about it, we had the retracement going right back to November 8th sign of strength with light volume. Now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it takes off. And that's what you need for higher price, that it comes out of nowhere after it's got sucked down once again. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see where it shakes out. I mean, I suspect yeah. that you're gonna see more bigger players come in, and you don't have to buy a lot of gold, folks, for gold to explode, you know? So I think that's where we are right now, Frank. Uh, and it, it is okay. going to be choppy, you know, because the, the Fed, the Treasury, they're going to pull something out of their, you know, hat. They always do. And they have to. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that's, the, that's the reality, to basically save the banking system. So, yeah. you know, who knows yeah. what it is now. You know, you can see it with First Republic Bank. You want to hear something crazy, folks? This is nuts. Fifteen years ago, UBS, who just took over Credit Suisse, UBS was saved 15 years ago. That's a legacy bank. That was down the tubes. So now it's like, okay, I was looking at that, I'm saying to myself, this is crazy, man. So I think the mantra is uh, you watch it every 12 to 15 years. But UBS was down the tubes. They saved it 15 years ago. Guess what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, right? <clears throat> Thank you. Watch out for those hand grenades, Juan. That's for, that's a sure, no doubt. Stay right there, okay. folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 356. You get the NASDAQ up 35. S&Ps are up 34. Let's go to uh, this uh, First Republic. Uh, this is uh, really turning into a, a trip in itself as to uh, just kind of laying there um, you know, they didn't get a buy, they didn't shut it down, and now what you have, folks, you can see this right now, we're down $11, okay? It broke the lows of last week, and you get an acceleration of volume. Now, this is going to be a big deal because of the fact that, you know, Jamie Dimon's been out there, he put together, you know, a bunch of banks that they put in $30 billion, try to save the deal. Uh, that hasn't worked. You can see that clearly hasn't worked. Um, and one of the main reasons that he did that and J.P. Morgan, because J.P. Morgan Chase did so much business with this bank. This bank did a huge amount of business with J.P. Uh, with uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, meaning fee structure wise, J.P. Morgan Chase, you know, bottom line, made a lot of money on this bank. That being said, um, you know, it's just a matter of what this bank is going to be tomorrow morning, because what you can see right now is that. Our officials aren't actually working fast enough. This, this will, this, see this right here? This is, this is going to spook people because what's going on. So picture, what normally happens is this, is that Tommy was talking about this on, on the show this morning, is that when they were taking over uh, uh, Signature Bank, the deal had already been done. No, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Credit Suisse. When they basically, when the Swiss National Bank came in and said, okay, we're going to backstop it. Well, the deal had already been done, meaning that they knew that, you know, UBS that, that was going to come in, take it over in the whole ball of wax. This particular case, this is a mess. And what this is telling me here is that the depositors are not waiting because this is what happens. And this is what's so, you know, dangerous about banks in general politics in general as to who do they save and who don't they save and that 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 gets down to your rolodex you know i mean when we went back to that you know lehman never thought that they were going to go down folks so i was right to the very end i mean uh dick whatever what was his last name i mean he was going out of his mind saying, I can't believe that, you know, you're not going to save us. You're not going to throw us a lifeline. Just threw Bear Stearns into, you know, uh, J.P. Morgan. Bottom line is that that's, that's what's going on here right now. And I suspect what's going on with First Republic is that the big dogs are getting out. Because what you don't know is that all of a sudden the Treasury and the Fed turns out and says, okay, you know, we got to let them go. Because at some point, that's what ends up happening. And that's what happened with, G with Lehman. What the first couple banks, they saved, right? I mean, they got wiped out pretty good, but they saved them, right? 
because they save jobs. In this particular case, I'm sure people that have big money, they're saying, okay, well, what happens if they don't save it? And that's, you know, that is, oh, that's, I'm not sure it's on the table, but it's not a 100% that they are going to save the bank, you know. So I suspect what we're seeing right now is that whoever is unloading this is going to be as knowing that right now they're just not too sure about what is going on. Um, Oh, here we go. Let's see what this is saying. Okay, so this just come across. Oh, look, look at this. This is insane. So, so the Federal Home Loan Bank issued $304 billion in debt last week. This just came across the tape. Uh, people familiar with the matter who asked not to be identified. That's double. So listen to this. That is double the liquidity hungry lenders tapped at the Federal Reserve. So that being double, that means we're at 500 billion they're in. <sighs> this is heavy, man. Yeah, so the, it, just so you can understand, these are backstops, okay? But, you know, uh, you know, 500 billion here, 500 billion there, now you're up to trillions. Now you get some real, uh, real problems out here. And w again, you know, now, the First Republic, now, well, check this out, man. This is, this is what's really intriguing. Do you remember last week I was bringing up the aspect of the Silicon National Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, rather, that what was really happening is that the Federal Reserve was actually saving our U.S. bond market. Why? Because the way that they went upside down is that they bought I think it was 90 billion of 10-year bonds paying 1.3%. It was a bad trade. That's the bottom line. It was on their books. So, of course, what ends up happening is interest rates go up. The price of bonds go down. So if that was you and I, we would have been bankrupt. That's it. House, cars, kids, the whole thing gone, right, overnight. And it, they had to come in and save it. Okay, so my take on that really, when it really came down to it, I says, you know what, really, really saving our own note and bond market. Now, First Republic's not in that situation. Where First Republic is, is in the municipal bond market. Now, same, same type of deal, okay, but different. So it's like, okay, so you haven't come in here yet. And the longer that they don't come in here, the more it's saying to me that that's what's really going on. And if the market ever gets a whiff that that is what is happening, meaning the fact of the matter is that they're coming in and trying to save our own bond market. Well, let me tell you something. That'll be really that, you know. And, and the reason I'm, I'm going there, folks, is because of the fact that what the Fed has done, this is to all banks now. If you have, now this, this doesn't count for um, municipal bonds, but if you have treasuries, and those treasuries are only worth 80 or 70 cents on the dollar, the Federal Reserve will take that for collateral and give you 100 cents on the dollar. Well, you know, we know what that is, right? I mean, that's like alchemy, right? That's the bottom line. Um, now, they've done it, you know, so the real question is going to be, you know, why haven't they done it here on municipal bonds? Well, they haven't done it on municipal bonds because guess what? That's state by state, city by city, and all of the above. So... We'll see where First Republic goes. It's really surprising that they didn't have this together Monday morning when we woke up. And what that's about also is about greed. That's about greed on the, on the shareholders and the strength of the First Republic folks and probably a couple other bankers out there. You know, because they know what, what does happen is this. They, they all, this is the system, my, my take is the system's not going to fall apart. But you'll have a couple more banks go out of business, and the bankers themselves know, I just got to hang on, I got to hang on. You got to get over the hump. Once you're over the hump, then you're all right again. What I've seen on humps, folks, humps are a good two and a half to three months, and we're only at the beginning of the hump. Dow, Dow Industrial is up 401, NASDAQ's up 55, S&Ps are up 39. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back and get the gold up uh, 11.50, silver's up 19 cents.
oil, 67 bucks. Stay right there, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is up 395, Nasdaq's up 46, S&Ps are up about 37. So uh, we have the Fed start tomorrow. It's a two-day meeting. Let's take a look at this. Um, you're going to have a 2.30, 2 o'clock on calendar, 2 o'clock on Wednesday, they will come out with their statement. And then uh, at 2.30, that will be the news conference. And, you know, right now, I mean, before this banking crisis, it was a goal for, a, you know, a 0.25 uh, raise in the Fed funds rate. Right now, we're 4.5 to 4.75. And of course, the, the whole kicker here is that, oh, if they don't raise it, um, they're paranoid. And if they, they, they do raise it, then it's like, okay, that's going to squeeze everything even more. Uh, somehow, I think he's going to thread the needle here um, and probably do a 0.25. Because you had Lagarde last week. She did a 5-0 in Europe. It didn't wreck Europe, you know. So I suspect in order to basically just keep things somewhat on an even level, 
you know, but they're going to have to do this First Republic because the, the, the First Republic, I, I suspect they're, <laughs> they're going to do that before Wednesday, man. Because First Republic right now, it's, it just got cut in half again out here today. So that thing's got to get cleaned up. That thing doesn't get cleaned up. That'll be trading down to $2, you know, like ASAP. I mean, there's just nothing there. You know, and the, the further it goes down, uh, the more that, you know, the heat's going to come on and it's just going to, you know, go. Look, look at the, fr the first trade today was 1.2 million shares at, if you look, at $18. If you're looking at this. The next trade, 600000 at $21. Look at these. And then now down here, look at this. Let's see. Then we get 880000 at $13. These are all block trades that I just put up here, folks, okay? Um, big, th those, those folks at the very beginning of the day, they must feel so great right now, even though they um, did lose quite a bit of money. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks. Building wealth.